What's more important, that your food is local or organic? We asked this question when the Lexicon of Sustainability Project took us to Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama. After photographing dozens of farmers, all leaders in their local sustainable food movements, we came to a strange realization. None of these people is certified organic. In fact, states like Alabama have among the lowest number of certified organic farms per capita in America. How can this be? It's a question I finally ask Edwin Marty, founder of Jones Valley Urban Farm in Birmingham, Alabama. And he said, Organic? You must be from California. Edwin claims that while many southern farmers practice sustainable methods, organic certification in this region faces three major challenges. The first, many areas lack local distribution systems to connect interested farmers with consumers who want these organic goods. The second, Edwin says Alabama farmers don't get enough guidance and support to go organic. He claims local and state agencies promote conventional agricultural solutions. These require petrochemical-based pesticides and fertilizers. And the last reason? Evan claims Southern farmers don't want the federal government to come in and tell them what to do with their farms. So what's the answer? For Edwin, it's a principle called Local First, Certification Second. Organic certification or a piece of paper will never ensure you're getting good food. You have to know your farmer. When you know your local farmer, you learn about their farming principles and practices. But how do you certify that? A farmer nearly 1,000 miles away in Bivalve, Maryland thinks he has the answer. He grows dozens of crops, and like Edwin, he isn't organically certified either. So what certification does he have? Face certification, it's a direct contact between the farmer and the consumer, and that creates an environment for trust and faith. Trust and faith. Knowing your farmer. These are some of the things to think about when you decide whether to go local or organic. To learn more about these terms, visit the lexicon of sustainability.com. And remember, your words can change the world.